everybody, I'm Chris Meikle, I'm the head of Alvarez. We're here at the NAM Show 2024 and we're just going to show you a few new models. We we'll start here with our Yayoi. This is our DYM 60 HD, which has been with us a few years now. It's our 4A Adirondack top with our vintage Honduran mahogany. This is the wood that we found about five years ago, which Mr. Yayoi had bought some 50 years ago. And uh, we will run out of this wood this year. We've had it going for a while. So um, very powerful, very dynamic dreadnought, lots of lovely tops and a very, very clear, clear base. This wall's great this year because we've got five dreadnoughts which have all been newly voiced. The whole line's been voiced again this year. About 10 years ago, we started, uh, we launched something called FST2 Bracing. We revisited that design last year and we're launching FST6 this year, which is a lighter weight bracing structure and it's bespoke, so it's different placement and different weights for different body sizes. This is another wood that we found last year in the factory. This is uh, coastal redwood. It's very, very old. Again, Mr. Yairi bought this decades ago, about 40 years. That is a very rare piece of wood. It's super finely grained, obviously came from a very large and a very old tree. We paired it with East Indian rosewood and it's just a very warm, uh, almost vintage sounding dreadnought. It's really, really special. That's a DYM 74. This is also new for us. This, this Nam Show again, it has our FST26 bracing. We've never made this model before either. This is a 4A Adirondack with East Indian rosewood. And anybody who's played that wood configuration will know what this guitar sounds like. It's very, very powerful. It's got a lovely scoop, big bass and trebles. And I think that um, anybody looking for a, a really dynamic dreadnought will be, will be blown away with this. The next option, staying with the dread, is Sitka Rosewood. Again with the FST6, this is more dynamic than, than our last offering. And when you pair these with a, with a, uh, or you A, B and C them with Adirondack and, and a redwood top, you've got a real sort of family of dreads that are all powerful but in different ways and you start getting really different tonality from them. And then we have this version, of course, in a 12 fret uh, slope shoulder with our DYM70. Another new model for this year is another Honduran series. So this is a full body Grand Auditorium. Uh, we decided not to put a cutaway on it. It's a perfect shape. Again, with our uh, Honduran mahogany. This has got, you know, not quite as powerful as the Dread. Absolutely powerful enough. It's lots of voice and projection, but a little bit more articulate. Trebles are slightly more accentuated and really just a lovely body shape. And then we have this one, which is our another redwood. This is an OM with a cutaway. We decided to put a cutaway on this one. It responds very well to a gentle touch. I think finger style guys would really appreciate this model. Head over to our smaller body guitars, some OMs and parlors. This is our FYM 66 HD, which has been a wonderful seller over the past two or three years. It is all Honduran vintage mahogany from the same batch that I just described. And then this year, we've matched that with a parlor. Uh, again, it's uh, all solid Honduran. Wonderfully uh, charismatic parlor, really. I mean, it, it has that bark and compression that you would expect, but it's got this warmth and sort of a, a bit of a more wider spread than, than lots of parlors are generally offering. That's a PYM 66 HD. This is an FYM 60 HD. It's been around for a while, but we've revoiced this. this the, all these guitars have the FST2, FST6. Again, it's a lighter bracing, forward shifted, a fairly traditional scalloping, but we use different weights between different body sizes. So the Dreadnoughts and Grand Auditoriums are braced differently to the OMs and parlors. Also, we just expanded the depth of this guitar by 5 mil, our OM body size. And that was to just give us a little bit more air volume so we could drive that top. I think of all the guitars that we've played here at this show, the change in this model with the, with the new bracing is probably the most radical. It's a wonderful sounding, powerful yet balanced OM. And it's FYM 60 HD. Another new one, which is our FYM 72. So again, we've paired Adirondack like the Dreadnought with East Indian Rosewood, classic wood config. People who know this configuration will, will, will know it well. With the lighter bracing again, you get more depth in that, in that voicing, 
and a wider spread, but the Adirondack brings that crispness in the top end. This is a new one, our FYM70 Herringbone. So we did something quite traditional. I think it works well because you have this sort of inner, you know, direct couple bridge on a very traditional instrument. And I think it's, it's suited very nicely. It's Sitka Rosewood with Herringbone Purfling. Classic pairing, really. It's a PYM 60SB. It's a mahogany parlor. Again, FST6 really opens this small body, body guitar up and uh, a classic um, tobacco sunburst. Last but not least, we have our FYM70, which is an OM, which is our uh, Sitka and um, in East Indian Rosewood. It's been available for a long time, but again, it's been revoiced. So a new Yairi is launching here. Lots of new models, lots of new wood configurations and a brand new voicing that we're really proud of and they'll be available from February 2024. We're also la launching our Laureate series, which is a brand new series for Alvarez. It's been something that we've been working on for some time and it's a high-end series. It sits above our masterworks and it's a traditional guitar series. So we made the important decision of whether we stick with our bi-level bridge or we go to a more traditional solid bridge and we decided to design a new bridge. It's slightly modern, it's slightly unique, but at the same time it's, it's a more traditional approach. Laureate series is all pre-war shapes. This is a, a daybreak color, which is a very light burst, which gives it a bit of a, a tint vintage vibe. The approach to this line is hand select everything. So when a luthier builds a guitar, they choose every single piece of wood that goes in that instrument. Obviously on a production level that generally can't happen. So we try to find the balance there between hand-selected components and delivering a, a guitar with that amount of consideration at an affordable price. So everything in this guitar is, is chosen. So all the bracing is selected from thousands of pieces of, of Sitka. It's quarter sawn, so all the bracing it has pencil straight grain. The solid maple bridge plate again is chosen. The, the kerfing inside is mahogany, all of that is selected. Any, any of that has a pitch mark or is slightly discolored, it's disregarded. Even the side braces for the ro solid rosewood are chosen just to match the sides in color. So they're very beautiful inside. We redesigned our whole sanding and painting processes to get to this level. And the finish of these guitars is beautifully flat, very thin finish and absolutely flawless. There's no intercoat scratching which makes them really desirable, hopefully, to look at. And again, the tops are, are the highest grade Sitka that comes into our, into our world. Beautifully quartered, lots of silking going on. And for the first time in Alvarez, we use black ebony bridge fingerboard headstock plate. Six models for now. We have more in development. Two dreads, natural and daybreak. And we have parlor, two in OM as well and they're launching the NAMM show and they're available now. So basically, from 2023, we redeveloped everything. So Artist Series uh, and Artist Elite have new EQs. We work with LR Bags, so we've got the Stage Pro in the Artist, and then we, we have the LR Bags Hi-Fi system in Masterworks in the Airy. And uh, we've got about 120 redeveloped models for 2024, so uh, we're looking forward to a great year. And uh, thank you, Music Villa, for, for checking in.